Okay, Gemini, this is going to be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. So it's next week coming up. And I'm going back to weeklies. Last week I did monthlies. And uh, nobody really commented if you like the monthlies or the weeklies better. I kind of want to know what people like better. But, um, so for this week coming up is weeklies. Alright, so actually I'm going to pull a... Um, Chinese fortune cookie oracle first and then tarot and then at the end I might do a uh, one of my the romance oracles in case you're curious about love if you're not then you can ignore that part but okay so for Gemini for this upcoming week travel okay says long distance communication will open up your life exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others oh nice okay all right so I'm going to use this deck all right so for Gemini for this upcoming week Well, sometimes I take cards, sometimes I don't. To me, that was me being a little bit sloppy with it, but I will keep it in mind. And if it's meant to be, it'll come back out. All right. And by the way, every sign has a power color, and yours is yellow. Let me hear. Just, just, it just not look straight. Okay. So there are earth signs, air signs, fire signs, and water. The signs that stand out here are um, Scorpio, and I'm just looking at cards here for a minute. Because Aries a little bit also, but Scorpio stands out the most. So you have a couple of threes here. The number of three is about love, wisdom, good fortune, and like celebrating in groups, you know. Um, so there's a lot of masculine type energy for me um, in these cards that come through some of you you know just some of you looks like same-sex relationship and then others of you is not <laughs> but it just stands out for some reason okay so we start off here with a knight of Pentacles, and this is stability and security um, it's good luck with your money or your career. It's about being steady and trustworthy. Um, but it does say that something finally comes through. So I don't know if this is news about your money or career that comes through or something you've been waiting on, but it does say something comes through. Um, and it also is about paying attention to the details. So the Ten of Pentacles is next, and this is a great card to get. It's just that in the position that it's in, it does make me wonder if that maybe that... Well, the card, okay, so the card itself is about financial security. It's um, peace and contentment in life. It's a general well-being. 
it's like a card of wealth and commitments and showing you obtaining your goals now in the position that it is in this could be undermined a lot maybe it's a bit of an issue obtaining your goals like maybe there's maybe there's something not stopping you or holding you back but maybe it's just on your mind a lot This is also a card, you know, about, it can be about family things, like family traditions and also. And for some of you, it can just, rep, it can be representing like generous friends or family. And for some of you, when I, I see this also, I do get like, like, there might be, I want to say like, like if you're, you know, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, but if you're a guy watching, it's almost like, some of this is about you and a best friend or you and a really close friend of the same sex, whether you're male or female, but okay, let me get to it. So next to the nine of swords. So with this, this is showing that some of you have unfound fear. Uh, you might be having some anxiety and stress. Some of you sleepless nights. Um, some of you might kind of expecting the worst. And this is telling you to refocus your thoughts. Try to find a way to let go of if you're obsessing over something that can cause illness and all that. So just try to find a way to let go and refocus your thoughts. I know it's easier said than done, but this is advising you to do just that. Next up here is a king. And by the way, this anxiety and stress could be over you and a friend or you and a significant other type thing. Something ends here. I mean, I won't get to it, but from, you know, looking at it and the feelings I'm getting from it is almost like so for some of you between you and a friend of the same sex you know um, looks like the friendship maybe come to an end for others you have a relationship coming to an end and looks like it's gonna cause some sadness okay but next up here I know that's not very happy is it <laughs> but there is celebrating over here so uh, the king of wands here is next so this is showing that you're inspiring and motivational and some of you either are or might become an entrepreneur. But it does show that you're full of creative ideas. And it looks like either you're good at being in a leadership role or you are in a leadership role. Or you're just a leader. It does show you can be a little controlling at times. So maybe, you know, just kind of keep watch on that a little bit. <laughs> Scale back just a little bit maybe. But... Um, Okay, next up here is the King of Swords. So for some of you, some of you might be a person in uniform. Maybe a job, you know, whatever it is that is in uniform. But it does show that you're sharp-minded, intelligent, respected. Again, this authority and power. There's authority and power either about you or you're in a position of authority and power. But a lot of you, looks like you're in control of your life. Like you get things done, you're in control of your life. So also if there's any official documents, looks like they will be wrapping up. So it does show things wrapping up. Next up here is the Page of Cups. So with this, this is showing a new romantic encounter somebody might be a little sensitive a little moody maybe even a little younger um, it is good news about a relationship and it does show that you're highly intuitive also and um, that you're always seeking ways to better yourself and it shows that a lot of you trust your feelings
And some of you, people might even come to you, like seek you out for advice. Probably because you have this authority, this power about you. There's something about you that, you know, people want your advice. And you can be strong-minded, strong-willed, either way. Okay, next up here is the Three of Cups. So this can be about relationships, but it's, it could be friendships. It could be anything. To me, it's more like friendships and celebrating and um, joyful announcements. You know, it's about kind of like whether it's celebrating engagements, weddings, pregnancies, graduations. It just shows like celebrating things. It shows that some of you are social butterfly. Uh, obviously, that's not all of you. <laughs> um, but it does show that people are drawn to you. And a lot of you appreciate the finer things in life, it shows. Now, next up, you have the death, and then next to it, the three of swords. So, the, again, this is, it's endings. It's a, something that's going to end, but it leads to new beginnings. It leads to a renewal, a, a transformation. It's like clearing out the old and letting go of what no longer serves you. Whether it's a friend, a person, you know, or a thing. It's letting go of something. Now, this card is also about setting aside things like greed or lust or addiction in order to live free. And uh, for some of you, this can be a swift change in life. It also says take nothing for granted. And others of you, this could be about making a decision whether to end a relationship or not, whether it's a friendship again or love ship. I should say love ship or friendship. But... Either way, you could be trying to figure out, you know, trying to decide what to do. But this does show, looks like an ending, which, therefore, the Three of Swords is about kind of disappointment. So it could just be disappointment. And it could, or for some of you, this can be like a heartbreak. Or like, um, for others, it's just healthy misunderstandings. So maybe it's just about misunderstandings and trying to figure out if you should end a relationship or not. Now, for others of you, this can be a love triangle. And I'm almost getting, for some of you here that are just a couple of you, or one or two of you maybe, that like, almost like a younger person came in and something, something happened or something, somebody a little younger for some, for just, like said, very few of you, but... Now, if, that, if this doesn't make sense to you, then it's saying um, that there might be, like, could be some health issues or some, some little health issues and just to get checked, just to make sure everything's all right. Now, this could also be a warning about possible deception. And it could be about between you and another person here. But I think it's, it's a little bit more about the ending of a relationship here and or figuring out if you want to end it but all right so i'm going to pull a romance here oracle and for any of you that are interested let's see if it comes to like love or romance hmm, honeymoon okay enjoy the bliss of holiday time together well the holidays just passed what <laughs> but okay alright you guys um, another video should be popping up you guys might want to check that one out and um, if you like this um, I w would appreciate it if you want to subscribe and um, thanks a lot you guys I appreciate you watching